Now, drilling in and drilling out of a pivot table um, is, a, is a functionality that it's really nice because, let's say, from a high level, you have data that you have summarized, and then you see issues in your data. You see a negative cash flow or sales going in a negative direction on a particular client. Then you want to build a drill in and get to the detail of why that's happening so you need more information rather than the summary so you want the actual detailed data. So let's set up a pivot table that we can drill in and drill out of. So from our field list we're going to add client to our row area. We're going to add salesperson. We're going to add product type and product sales and from here let's also on here let's go ahead and also add our date um, and notice how it puts it in a row area once again I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that in the column area alright so pretty nice um, also let's add our year and once again, we need to put that in our column area. All right, cool. So here we have everything, um, all our clients by salesperson, by product type, by month, by year. Um, our, this is all of our product sales. So this is pretty good. I mean, this is a lot of data um, that's been summarized. I mean, it's much more cleaner than all of our other records, but really we want a high-level roll-up of this. So what we want to do is we want to collapse the columns so that we can drill in to the detail when we want to. So I'm just going to right-click on Client, and I'm going to go to Expand Collapse, and let's collapse that. All right, cool. So notice how the everything is now summarized by client. So it makes it much easier to read um, from a high level. And we could even go as far as now, let's do everything by year. So what I'll do is I'm going to come here to year and I'm going to collapse this. And now we have everything summarized by year and client. So now we can quickly see, let's go ahead and um, format this. And I'm going to get into formatting a little bit later, but I uh, want to go ahead and just format this quickly um, so it makes it easy for us to see what's going on because we know this is a, there's a dollar amount here. This is actual revenue or sales. So we can see that here um, we have by client our, our year and by year are sales. So real quickly, if we want to go, we're going down here and we see, oh, okay, there's an issue with target, target, and we want to drill into it. And we quickly know, okay, here's our salespeople, our product type, um, and we can see our sales by year there. And then even now, once again, if we want to expand our year, we can see all of the months now too as well. Now we can also collapse that if we want. And then what I'm going to do here, let's go ahead and go back. And I want to make sure that um, we actually collapse our um, salesperson as well. So now if I drill into Target, I only get my salesperson by year. And then now, if I get into a particular salesperson, oh, okay, Mega Roo, um, that salesperson, he, she, um, looks like there's an issue. So I want to drill in and I can see the actual um, what's associated with that salesperson. So let's go back, let's go to one of our clients that has a little bit more detail under it. Um, like the University of Texas and if we go to Jimmy Schwimmy and we can see as we expand and we can get more and more detail as we go down and then we can then um, drill out by clicking the minus icon now you can click the actual icons you can click the um, just the field itself by just double clicking oh sorry 
um, by just double clicking um, it again to um, contract. Now another way to drill into the detail that a lot of people don't know about with pivot tables that's really nice is now if I want to get all the details associated here with Austin City Limits for the year 2000 all I have to do is click on the data area here and then now I'm just going to double click. Boom! A new worksheet is opened up for me and um, another worksheet here. And so now I have all my data here in another worksheet that's associated exactly with where I click. So now I can see all my detail. Um, so like especially if you have your pivot table connected to a database or something, I mean this is very nice. This is a very nice feature. And then you can come back here and then delete it when you're done.